Hey guys, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another video. Now, you guys really seem to like the first one that I did of this series, the top five dungeon farms for Transmog. So I figured I'd make a part two for you guys. Now, a couple things to note. This list is in no particular order. It is my opinion. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I also want to say I may sound a little under the weather. I have a bit of a head cold right now, so I'm sorry about the voice, but hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. And with that out of the way, let's get into the list. All right, and first on the list, we have Black Fathom Deeps. Now, Black Fathom Deeps is a great dungeon to farm if you are newer to Transmog, as it gives a wide range of greens that can drop here. Really great for filling out your auction house. Now, the main sets that you want to be looking out for are the Grunts, the Wrangler, the Ritual, the Pagan, the Spiked Chain, the Outrunners, and the Hulking Green Transmog sets. Now, there are obviously others, but those are the main ones that go for a good amount. And on top of that, there are a wide range of BOE Blues that are dungeon specifics. The main ones of note are the Onyx Claymore, the Staff of the Friar, Doom Spike, the Tree Bark Jacket, the Staff of the Blessed Seer, and Grimclaw. Now some of those are weapons, and as you guys probably know, Transmog weapons sell for a very nice amount, but a lot of those items are unique appearances, and they fetch high prices. Obviously, with it being transmog, they will take a little while to sell, but that's just how the game is. You need to be patient when trying to sell transmog and make sure you have a ton of it. And in my opinion, Black Fathom Deeps really is good for filling out your auction house. And it's absolutely one that I would recommend you guys to do. The runs are pretty quick. It takes about three or so minutes with the speed set. And overall, I enjoy doing this farm. Go ahead and check out my 50 runs video of BFD so you can see how to farm it and check out some of the great loot that I got. And next on the list we have Zulfur Rock. Now I've actually done a 50 runs video on Zulfur Rock showing all the loot that I got over 50 runs. But Zulfur Rock is pretty well known in the gold farming community in terms of filling out your auction house. It is very good doing that. And there are a ton of great sets world drops, and all those kind of items that drop here. There's a super wide variety of them. Some of the main items that you're going to be wanting to keep an eye out for are the Glorious, Jade, Vanguard, Lofty, Blood Set, Bloodlust, Blood Forged. I mean, there's just absolutely tons of sets, and there's such a wide variety of items. Make sure to go ahead and loot all of the graves when you get to the middle area as that will spawn a bunch of extra mobs for you to kill. And overall, these runs take about 5 or 6 minutes so you should not get locked out. And it's one of my favorite transmog farms to do. Next on the list, we actually have Stratholm. Now, I like Stratholm because... There's a good mix between materials and transmog that you can get from running this. Now, some things to note. When you run Stratholm, you're going to be looting a few Crusaders orbs and also a few Essence of Undeaths. Now, these are very expensive materials that you can sell through the region-wide auction house, so they sell super quick. The Crusaders orb go for about three to 400 gold each. And the Essence of Death go for just under about 100 gold each. And you get about 2 to 3 of those per run. So it really adds up to supplement for the transmog farming that you'll be doing. Some of the main transmog sets that we'll be going for here are the Crusaders set, the Imperial Red set, the Swashbucklers set, and the Overlord set. Now there are a bunch of other smaller items, but... You're, there's not really any very, very expensive transmog sets in Stratholm. It's more like a steady, medium kind of price for a lot of the transmog. Now, there also are a few zone drop blue items that go for a good chunk of gold. A few of those being the Blacksmithing Plans Blight, 
the Stratholme Militia shoulder guards and the Plague Hound leggings. Now those were actually removed a while back uh, since being implemented in vanilla, and then they brought them back recently, I believe a couple expansions ago, maybe in Legion or something like that. So a lot of people think that these are still unavailable and out of the game, but they actually can drop again, and they actually fetch very high prices. So if you get either of those, you will absolutely be raking in the gold. Next on the list, we have Blackrock Depths. Now, Blackrock Depths is actually a dungeon I believe gets slept on quite a bit. There are a ton of great transmog sets similar to Stratholm that can drop here, such as the Swashbuckler set, you have Alabaster, Ebonhold, the Wrangler set, Ornate. There are just a ton of, once again, these medium price transmogs, and you get an absolute ton of them from farming Blackrock Depths. Now, the BRD unique blue drops of note are the Rib Splitter, the Judge's Gavel, the Doomforge Straight Edge, the Blisterbane Wrap, the Spire of the Stone Shaper. Um, there's honestly a ton of them. Uh, the Funeral Pyre Vestiments as well. Brain Cage, there's, there's absolutely a ton of Dungeon Blue Drops that sell for a lot of gold here as well. So the reason I like the route that I'm showing on the screen is because when doing this farm you will get these Relic Coffer Keys. Now a lot of people don't really do anything with these and they just kind of delete them in their bags, but I highly recommend you guys head over to this area and open these coffers. Basically, when looting, you'll get these keys, and these keys can open these here, as you can see. Now, a lot of people think it's only nothing but junk, but as you'll actually see shortly, we are looking for the Dark Iron Baby Booties, as this is actually a very expensive gray item that is used to get a pet from Shadowlands, the Bobble Pet. Now, a lot of people know about these, and I sell the Dark Iron Baby Booties for anywhere from 15 to 20,000 gold each. And we actually got lucky and got two of these, so that was really, really nice. And number one on this list, again, guys, these are in no particular order, but we have nonetheless Nomragon. Now, Nomragon is great as there are actually some engineering patterns that can drop off of the final boss that are very expensive. But along with that, we have a wide, wide variety of transmog items, both greens and blues, that fetch high, high prices. So we're looking for things like the Battleforge set, the Glimmering Mail set, Silver Thread, the Banded, Durable. There, there's just tons, tons of great transmog sets here in that are green items. And then on top of that... We have a bunch of great zone-wide blue drops, such as the Gizmotron Mega Chopper, the High Tech Super Gun, the Vibro Blade, the Mech Builders Overalls, Cavern Deep, Tr Cavern Deep Trudgers, Petrol Spill Leggings. I mean, the list goes on and on. And on top of the fact that I feel like people don't farm Nomergon very much, it really increases the prices, as on my realm, the price of specifically the blue drops are quite a bit higher than on many other realms or the region prices. So I highly recommend you guys check the auction houses for some of the blues before doing any of these farms. And with the very high mob count when farming this dungeon, I just think it's great. And on top of that, the wide variety of transmog to fill your auction house up. That is why it is at the number one spot. All right, and that does it for the part two of top five transmog dungeons to farm. Now, once again, these are my opinion and the list is in no particular order. Let me know if I left out any transmog farms that you guys enjoy doing in the comments below. Maybe I'll make a part three to this. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to highlight some transmog dungeons that people don't really think of too much, other than Zulfarok, I guess. But just bring some more love to the less loved transmog dungeons because I have found a lot of success with them. Again, I'm sorry for the sick voice. Hopefully I'll be getting over that in the next couple days or so. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure to check out some of my other gold making content. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching today's video. Good luck with your auction house sales and I shall see you in the next gold making video.